Hey guys, welcome back to the Shipmate YouTube channel. This week, we're talking all about first class mail. So today I want to talk about one of the most popular options you have when you're mailing a letter or a package and you're using the post office, and that is first class mail. So first class mail can be used for a lot of things. It can be used for letters. It can be used for large envelopes or flats, and it can even be used for packages. We here at Shipmates send a lot of packages first class. So, uh, you know, a lot of businesses really benefit from this service. So, you know, you can always send up to 13 ounces in a letter or a flat, and it's a pretty affordable service. Uh, it usually gets there in one to three days. And it's a great way to mail you know important documents or things that have to get there by a deadline because it's a step up from standard mail and you know it, it's really good to use for letters but today what i really want to focus on is first class packages right so with the post office you can send a package first class mail now first class mail costs about half as much as priority mail so it's a great bargain i, I mean if you want to be sending packages for four five six dollars uh, first class mail is where it's at, but there's a lot of restrictions on first class mail. The most important restriction on first class mail is it's designed for packages that are under a pound. So if you have a package that's under 16 ounces, first class mail is probably a good fit for you because you know it's a relatively cheap service and it's a fast service, you know, one to three days. So first class mail is really broken up into four buckets. You have one to four ounces, five to eight ounces, 9 to 12 ounces, and then 13 to 15.9 to infinity. So basically you cover the whole gamut of everything under a pound, breaks up into four different price brackets that then are distributed across the eight postal zones. So if you're not familiar with postal zones, you might want to check out one of our previous videos we did on that subject. So because of this, you know, it's relatively easy to understand if you know what your package weighs and you know uh, where it's going, you can just grab that price chart and you can get a quote just like that. And you know, it's gonna be cheap, it's gonna be affordable, and it's gonna be fast. So some drawbacks to first class mail is that it's not a guaranteed service, right? So if I'm using like FedEx uh, two day or UPS three day select, generally these expedited services have some sort of guarantee, right? Some guarantee on the delivery date. First class mail does not have that guaranteed delivery date, although it is a one to three day service. So, you know, it, it's still a pretty quick service. It's still a pretty good service. But if you need something to get there and your, you know, your life depends on it, you know, it, it's really important. It might not be your best choice. Another thing is there is a maximum package size when shipping with first class mail. It's 22 by 18 by 15. So if your box exceeds those dimensions on either side, you know, you can get moved up to priority mail even if your package is still under a pound. So like I said, when you're, when you're thinking about this, make sure that your packages conform not just in weight, but also in measurements. Another drawback is if you're shipping with USPS and you're already using their packaging, right? So you're getting those uh, free flat rate boxes at the post office, or you're even getting the free priority mail materials, you can't use those with first class mail. Those are only for priority mail. So if you're taking advantage of the post office's free shipping materials, you can't use them with first class mail. So that's yet another drawback because you have to go out and you know buy expensive shipping materials, whether you're using mailers or boxes or whatever you're doing. But it, it, it really doesn't change the math that much, but it's important to keep that in mind before you, know, you try to send something in a priority mailbox. Another drawback of first class mail is that it does not come with the free insurance like priority mail does. I think it's either 50 or $100 you get for free when you ship a package, priority mail at the post office. But that coverage doesn't come into play when you ship with first class mail. So you're forfeiting that little bit of insurance that sometimes can help you if you're selling a product online or you know, you're doing an eBay sale or whatever you're doing, 
you know, that, 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 that insurance is a nice little perk and you're missing out on that, but don't worry, you still get the tracking. So regardless of what uh, marketplace you're selling on, you'll still be able to give your customers tracking and you'll still be able to track that package throughout its route. So guys, I hope you learned something today about first class mail. I think it's a really powerful tool for any e-commerce seller or even if you're just somebody casually sending a package or a letter. You know, it's, it's really good to know that these options are out there and know what choices you have because they can save you a lot of money over using something like FedEx or UPS or, you know, priority mail. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you could do us a favor, hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. It helps this video reach more people. And we need your help to get to 2,500 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next week.